If you watched our last video, you know we just made it back to Cusco after an eventful day visiting a very rainy Machu Picchu and then surviving a train malfunction. And speaking of mechanical problems, if you're into that kind of thing, I recommend watching the end of this video when we experience an engine failure and emergency landing while trying to fly home. Anyway, so back in Cusco, we had headed off to the airport to catch our plane back to Lima. We didn't do a great job of documenting what was happening, but basically we landed in Lima, uh, took what was maybe the sketchiest taxi ever to our hotel in Miraflores, and then we just relaxed in the hot tub until it was time to go to dinner. Not just any dinner though, we were going to Central. Is your first time here? Yes. yes. We have wanted to go to this Michelin starred restaurant since we first watched The Chef's Table on Netflix and we were so excited. So I'm supposed to put this whole thing in my mouth or just take a bite of it? But do what you want. I don't know if I can fit this in my mouth. I'm going all in. Well, of course you can. That was really graceful. It felt Careful. really graceful. It looks graceful. Is it good? Yeah. And the texture of the potato is strange. So this is Haku, and it's a fish that eats fruit that falls from the trees into the river. But it looks like a piranha. Oh, that's like solid. I thought that was a piece. watermelon. I don't know where the fish is. It's underneath. Yeah? You like that? A hint of cilantro. A hint of cilantro, uh oh. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> we are on course 9 of 12, and this is incredible. <laughs> this is really, really good. This is the last part of the experience. The next day we met our friend Erica with Delectable Peru for an epic food tour of the city. We started at a market, obviously, and even after almost two weeks in Peru, we were surprised with more unique fruits to try. Mariella 
and her family cut and prepared the best tasting ceviche we have ever had right in front of us. Our next stop was Lamar, a beautiful seafood restaurant with some of the best food we had in Lima. We started with some surprisingly strong chilcanos and pisco sours. We tried so much food at Lamar. Causa with prawns, seafood rice, and of course, more ceviche. There's a thing here, you want to avoid that. <laughs> Did you get that? I did. Did you get that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Beast, the lechola. Oh, yeah. Beast, the lechola. Get some bread to soak up the booze. <laughs> How many shots of pisco are left? Those pieces Dude, of sour. I don't know, but those, those tall ones? Sandy! <laughs> When I said it feels like me, I wasn't wrong, right? No. It's right. like the best bread I've ever had in my life. This is the bridge of size. We have to hold hands and walk across while we're holding our breath. And if we make it all the way across, we stay together forever. Let's try, let's try this out. Alright, so here we go. Ready, ready? Three, two, one. together forever. Our last day in Peru started with COVID tests so that we could get back into the U.S. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Bless you. While we were waiting for the results, we explored Larcomar, a clifftop shopping center. And then we walked down many flights of stairs to the waterfront area of Lima, past surfers and sunbathers, to La Rosa Nautica, a gorgeous restaurant on a jetty that juts out into the Pacific. Happening. 
recuerda que si estás en tus manos. Long story or short story? <laughs> well, medium. So last night, the plane we were on caught on fire. <laughs> <laughs> While well, it was in the air. <laughs> While well, in the air, one of the engines exploded. So we landed, and then Jason and I are now going to a mall, maybe, to watch a movie, maybe in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> there are a few missing details, <laughs> but that's like, that sums it up. Alright, so let's talk about what actually happened on the night we were supposed to be flying home from Lima. We were taking off. I was taking some video, just mm -hmm. what I thought would be the last clip, and then I put my camera away and I went to sleep, and... <laughs> Very shortly after that, we heard what sounded like an explosion. I thought it was in the cargo part of the airplane. It just was really loud. It sounded like a bomb. Sounded like sounded like a bomb. <laughs> yeah. And then all the lights went off. It was it was quiet and nobody was saying anything. It was like probably 10 to 20 minutes before we heard from anybody. They basically said like we haven't said anything because we were trying to stabilize the plane mm -hmm. um, and we have lost an engine and we will be turning around and landing again at the Lima airport. We, we were flying back in to Lima and you could see all of the emergency vehicles just sort of like driving along with us as we were landing with all right. their lights on and everything. And then they had to send buses to get us. Um, you know, there's like firemen like helping us off the plane and everything. Yeah. Our friend Jared actually slept through the entire thing. The in yeah, the entire thing. <laughs> The entire thing. He was, he, f I don't know how, he fell asleep and he woke up when we were landing. And he was, he woke up and he's like, what, what's happening? I, and I never thought to ask him, did he think that we, like, were in the US? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, that would be a fast flight. Right, that's a good anyway. question. Yeah. But so they, they shuttled us to this, like, special room at the airport. Eventually they, they called us up and we had to have them see our passports again. We had to get a second Peru passport stamp. Anyway, so these things happen while you're traveling to the best of us and it's just part of traveling and you just have to make the best of it, which I think you guys did. Jason had chicken nuggets and alcohol today, so <laughs> life's going well. <laughs> That's true. And everybody got home safe and so we have no complaints. Good job, pilots. Thank you. I have yeah. a lot more trust in pilots, honestly, after that experience. So that concludes our trip to Peru. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next time.